Hi, I'm Constanza de Seine and I'm teaching this term for the Drawing School on a course called Transforming Observation. One of the things we're going to be thinking about in Transforming Observation is how, through the act of actually looking, we kind of become aware of other things and that these kind of non-visual um, parts of the scene we're looking at actually can kind of become absorbed into the drawing um, and become part of its meaning and the things it communicates. Um, and I've got two really beautiful and quite different examples here. Um, the first is a drawing by Leon Kossoff. Um, it's a study for a painting that's called Children's Swimming Pool Autumn Afternoon. Um, and it's full of this um, kind of noise and clamour. There are sort of lots of people doing lots of different things. It seems to be quite good humoured. Um, and, and you get a sense of kind of the noises of yelping, of people diving, um, splashing. And with that, you get a sense of, even though he hardly describes the water and he hardly describes the architecture of what I imagine is a kind of municipal swimming pool, you get a sense of all the light reflecting off, off the walls and the shiny surfaces. Um, and so even though it's been done through looking, Obviously, in that act of doing the drawing, he's been so aware of these other things and he hasn't actually kind of drawn them, but they've become part of the drawing. And in a very similar way, although it's a totally different drawing, um, I feel this too with Celia Poole's drawing of her room. It's much less noisy. In fact, it's incredibly quiet. And you kind of imagine that if there are noises, they're the noises of, I think it's her, her flat is in, is near the British Museum and, and you, you see a, see out the window in this drawing, Oxo Tower. So there are probably city noises, but they're muffled and they're distant and they aren't part of what is going on in the scene you're looking at. Um, so you get a real sense of solitude. I think it's quite, it's a kind of homage to, to Gwen John's drawings of her rooms, I think. Um, and so I think in both of these drawings, in a way, they're quite um, restrained. They're not telling you everything with their nut lines. They're not saying, this is what I definitely saw. It's much more a kind of gaze that's exploratory. It's a way of drawing that's finding and really, um, with all of the senses, connecting to what it is you're looking at.